So Shale, again, you've been with us for a long time, um, really since we started. From what you've seen, you know, how do you think, uh, I mean, how do you feel about this whole move from everything being in person to almost everything we're doing uh, being done remotely uh, through the computer and on the phone? Well, one of the things that I think is interesting is that oftentimes whatever the patients are experiencing, uh, the staff also experiences something very similar, which um, we call a parallel process. And I think that the, you know, initially when we first went from doing all of our sessions in person live, um, there was there's always been a very strong sense of community here and togetherness and connection. And uh, because most of our patients suffer from PTSD, trauma, uh, a lot of our patients experience abandonment, uh, feelings of abandonment, and uh, a lot of our patients have experienced some form of neglect, whether it be when they were growing up or even uh, in relationships now as young adults or people who have been in relationships for a really long time uh, have experienced neglect and so when initially when we started the telehealth i think that there was a strong feeling amongst our patients of abandonment and neglect and so the transition was a little difficult at first um, but i think that over time as we have um, really settled into the process, uh, most of our patients have actually adapted to it really well and there are times when we'll be in a group on telehealth where I almost forget that we're using the computer. It actually does feel like you're in the room with the patients. Hmm. And Rachel, you know, I think all of us know that these are diseases of isolation, at least the ones that we treat here. Um, you know, how do you think your patients are doing at home, um, in most cases, hopefully uh, as isolated as they can be, um, to be safe? Um, and how do you think, uh, you know, providing this olive branch through telehealth is, is helping them? Um, I think uh, one of the key things you touched on was the safety factor. And, and I've heard um, during this process, patients really um, emphasize how safe they feel at SunCloud and so I think it's been about creating that safety in some of their own environment um, which can only help to foster even further um, recovery for them once the once they you know sort of finish treatment um, at SunCloud. Um, one of the great things I think about telehealth is everybody's faces is sort of right there on the screen obviously and um, it's easier or perhaps I'm more effective as a therapist and picking up on some of the cues, like things don't get by me as much because I can see expressions um, on the screen. And, um, and it's really, I've heard a lot of patients talk about uh, still feeling connected, um, being you know home and, and not being able to go to meetings and not being able to physically be in SunCloud, but still feeling that connection um, to their peers while they're in treatment.